Hola, hablo de la ciudad Sevilla. Hay muchas culturas diferentes en Sevilla. En Sevilla hace color y humedo. El tiempo es muy seco también. En Sevilla comen las tapas y muchos mariscos. El baile flamenco es muy popular en Sevilla. La panorama de Sevilla es muy bonita. Hasta luego. Legend has it that Sevilla was founded by the god Hercules, but historians believe that descendants of the Phoenicians and Greeks created a city on the shores of the Guadalquivir and named it Ispal. This is considered to be the origin of Sevilla. In 3rd century BC, Carthaginians occupied the area, but they were defeated by Romans. Sevilla was given the status of a colony in 45 BC. In 1248, Ferdinand III conquested Sevilla for Christianity. Muslims were forced to leave. Overtaking of Granada in 1492 marked the end of the reconquest process, and Jews were expelled, and Sevilla became the headquarters of the Inquisition. Sevilla is known for its hundreds of churches, palaces, and monasteries. The most famous one is the Alcazar. Under Peter I of Castile, the Alcazar, a Spanish palace, was rebuilt. The Alcazar has been the official royal residence of Spain's reigning dynasty since the conquest of the city by Ferdinand III. Sevillanos are known for their fierce pride in their city. They feel no need to leave Sevilla or change anything, so most things stay the same in Sevilla year after year. Sevillanos' attitude can be described as endearing and exasperating, but always intriguing. In this picture, you see some women doing a dance called the flamenco. The flamenco dance is one of the most popular dances in Sevilla. Sevilla is a popular spot for sets of movies. One popular movie shooting spot is Plaza de España. Movies such as Kingdom of Heaven, starring Orlando Bloom, and some scenes in Lawrence were filmed in Spain. The Alcazar in Sevilla was used as the court of the King of Jerusalem in Kingdom of Heaven. As far as food goes in Sevilla, there are many different choices. The most popular kind of food is seafood, but a small tasty dish called tapas originated here. Some say they started as just a piece of bread and ham used to cover a wine glass to keep bugs or dust from getting in their drink.